Run it up, Kel. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video, and this is another track vlog. We are in Waco, Texas, competing at Baylor University. Um, I've never been here before. I've never been to Waco. It was a hike and a half away, and it's literally 10 o'clock um, Texas time, which means it's 11 o'clock Kentucky time. Uh, but we just got in. I didn't record the travel because, like I said, it was a long day, and we had so much to do prior to that, so I just wasn't able to pick up the camera. But we just got into our hotel room, and baby, when I tell you that this is probably the best and nicest hotel that I've ever been in outside of a resort. I kid you not. So let's get into this room before we settle in and you know, start using it for real. But yeah, let's get into it. So first when you start off, it's not even like a typical uh, room key scanner. It's like a little, looks like an air tag. I don't know, little tag, whatever. Let's get into the bathroom first. Got the nice mirror on the back of the door. And I literally still have my travel suit on. Nice glass shower. I know they shower for a bus with some gray lighting overhead. Um, just super modern, y'all know. Modern is in and the old is out. Like I said, we literally just got in, so let me move my suitcase. Nice closet. This literally looks like an apartment, y'all. And why the light cut on as soon as you open up the closet? Like what? And the light just went off and turned on when I opened it up. But this is like literally an apartment. I probably have never seen a hotel with a full refrigerator. Like this joint has a full refrigerator and a full freezer. Where y'all see that at? Nice overhead space. Like I said, bro, this literally looks like an apartment. Literally has a sink, a stove. So you're telling me we could cook breakfast in here? <laughs> they got the bowls, microwaves. Nice TV, good evening, massage, time to relax because the girl is tired, they already know what the deal is. Nice little bench, Megan over here, sitting on her little couch. She done read about two books in two days. She told me she better read another one, so she told me she gonna read here. Nice couch, um, here's the bed and desk and then, you know, hardwood floor all around and then like this thin little carpet by the beds. Y'all, and look at the view though. And I got a jacuzzi. Why can't we stay here for spring break? Right. Actually, it's probably nothing else outside of this year, but <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go down to the pool. So yeah, y'all. It literally looks like a studio apartment. They have a dishwasher. Like, come on. What hotel do y'all know? Have a dishwasher. This is called the Element Co. something. But yeah, y'all, your girl's about to shower, settle down for the night. It's been a long day and I look like it. Um, I'll catch you with y'all in the morning once we get ready, get active, and get ready to go over to the track for shakeout and things like that. So yeah, I'll catch y'all in the morning. And I know this shower's been on bus, so I'll catch y'all tomorrow. What's going on right now? Uh, currently we're moving with one of the Baylor coaches because it's been a lightning strike eight miles within the track so we have to evacuate. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go into some clubhouse, some um, real low key ducked off kind of vibe. And like she said, there is lightning eight miles within the track. So, you know, that's just not safe to be outside. We're taking some great precautions because we want everyone to leave in one piece. We were just talking about death. We were. <laughs> and we don't need nobody going out in the worst way. But yeah, y'all, we out here at Baylor.
y'all. We just finished our shakeout. Rim over here trying to get me to do these hard dances. You know what I'm saying? That his little I love song. Um, I know I haven't talked to y'all since yesterday. I literally left my camera in Karima's bag. So I literally got to the track and recorded my shakeout. But now I'm about to go back to the track and go support the rest of my teammates because I'm not competing today. I compete tomorrow. I have a long day tomorrow. I got two rounds of 100 hurdles, four by one and four by four. So lots of running tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm about to go to the track and support my friends. Last night, only thing that I ended up doing was getting dinner and literally went to sleep. Um, Yesterday wasn't too long, but I was just so tired because of the time zone. We are in Texas, so it's an hour difference. If it's 5 o'clock in Lexington, that means it's 4 here. So, you know, that hour can really take it out of you. But I had to get a flush, so the bus, the last bus that was leaving out to the track today actually left. Which is okay, because the track is only like five minutes away. So we're about to head there now. Um, I'm about to throw my glasses on because it looks hot out. I'm gonna grab some water and we're gonna be out the door, period. What's up you guys? I'm back from the meet. It was some great races. Um, everyone did so well. Lots of PRs across the board. Um, it was a little chilly out there. So I ended up putting on my hoodie or my pullover and my legging. But I'm literally about to get into some homework. I'm about to shower and go downstairs in the lobby. Um, I'm literally about to edit my Florida Days vlog. I'm probably like, that's not homework. Um, it's not homework, but it's something that's on my to-do list. And I just be trying to get these vlogs out to y'all in the midst of still recording videos and still living and handling my daily life. And I know that, you know, that's my life and that's just what I got to do. And I love literally watching back my vlogs, watching back the memories and just watching back all the great times and experiences that you know i had i can't say i love the editing piece for some vlogs i am super excited to edit like my bahamas vlog i was so excited to edit that vlog because i just wanted to see it like just all unfold and when you're just like in the moment you be forgetting what things that you do and you look back at the video and you're like oh shoot i don't remember i did this so i'm literally about to get into that um and then handle some other things some other business related things later tonight um but yeah i'll catch you with y'all tomorrow at 12 p.m and then um, another round a little later. So I'll catch in with you guys. I love y'all and I'll see y'all. Good morning, guys. Um, it's me day. I'm about to get ready. Oh, my hair looks a mess, which is on my hands and on my head. Because, of course, I just woke up. Um, already brushed my teeth. I'm about to hop in the shower and just get ready how I usually do. Super excited to run today. I have already put your hurdles in probably almost three weeks to a month. So I'm glad to be back, you know, doing my primary event um, because, you know, we just took a little break from it because I'm going to be running it every week since I have bigger goals past the collegiate season this year. Um, so let me hop in the shower, get ready so that I can get something to eat and head over to the track. Sure. What's up vlog? We are at the track. 
<laughs> we'll be out here. Good morning. What's going on? BBN. How you been? BBC. That's how you have to say. How you? I, I, he doesn't know what else to say. Hey y'all, it's uh, yeah. it's your girl. Hey y'all, it's your girl Masai. Y'all already know who it is. They over here trying to introduce my video to y'all, but they didn't even know that we've been already talking all morning. Um, but yeah, we're at the meet. Um, I'm getting ready to warm up in probably 10, 20 minutes. I just got here. Um, I can't check in until 30 minutes before the event, so I run at 12, so I have to check in at 11.30. I don't know where the check-in is, um, but we just got here. The weather's good. It doesn't seem like it's too windy. Um, super excited because, like I said, I haven't done the 100 hurdles in almost a month, maybe three weeks. I don't know. Um, I've been training for it, but I haven't competed in it, so it should be some good competition today, some great times. Um, I'm super relaxed. I just feel, like, great. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're going to find out because uh, <laughs> I just feel good, like, you know. Super ready, super blessed, super thankful. My gratitude for it all is just through the roof. Um, so I'll catch y'all after I am done competing because we're running two rounds in one day. And then I think we're doing the 4 by one today. I'm not quite sure. I don't really know what's going on, but I know what I got to do. So I'm gonna catch you with y'all and we're gonna check back in. And we are all Bell Houston, TCU, Iowa, Kentucky, Texas Tech, Arizona State, and UT Arlington. Come on, talk to him on the back tree. Getting after it, the nation's best. Please forgive me, the world's best. Third leg. Texas Tech and Kentucky. And we are all the nation's best, the world's best, attacking the hurdles. There she is, number one in the nation, number one in the world, the Sire Russell. And we're off, Texas and in Commerce, number two in the Southland, Kansas State, K-State, number seven in the Big 12, third at the Big 12 Outdoor Championships last season, number 24 in the nation, Texas Tech, number three in the Big 12, Kentucky, the national champions from last season. Fifth at the NCAA Indoor Championships this past season. First at the SEC Championships last year. In lane six, Baylor comes in ranked number 28 in the world, number 21 in the nation, number two in the Big 12. Eighth at the NCAA Championships last season. Big 12 champions last year. Big 12 champions indoor. Iowa, number 25 in the nation, number four in Big 10. TCU, number six in the Big 12. Northwestern State, number one in Southland. It is loaded. Kentucky with the handoff. Again, the national champion from last year. Talk to him on the back straight. Oh, we can do better than this. Kentucky, but here comes Taylor. The top team in the nation. Forgive me. In the world. Oh, you can do better than this. Kentucky, Taylor, turning over. Oh, so you can go on. Pay straight. Check the track. Go to the Third leg, getting after it. Kentucky, here comes Baylor. Let's help him on the back straight. Kentucky, Taylor, Jackson Green, for Taylor. We're looking at the battle for third. Kentucky, Taylor. Kentucky, Taylor. 
Brian Ayer, Lindsey Anchor for Baylor, Northern Kentucky. Baylor, there's something happening. Look at this battle for third. 200 meters to go. We won the 4x4, four four, we won the 4x1, I won the 100 hurdles, I ran 1250, um, it was a really great day, the weather held up, it didn't rain, hopefully you guys can hear me because he's on the intercom and it's super loud, but the meet just ended, I'm sorry I didn't check in with you guys, I was literally running back to back to back to back to back to back today, so I didn't have time to check out my camera and talk to y'all, but it was a great meet, great day, you got to say to the vlog. Is the nail spot open? <laughs> That's all you gotta say. <laughs> what I gotta say is, y'all, I'm oh prepping right now, but we had a good day in the office. This track is not as fast as they said it was. It was, it was a lie, really, because I know I ran way faster than what was on the board, but we had a good day in the office. We see the 4x4 back. Everybody period, back period, in the bag. period. We back in business. Go, cats. <laughs> This is better. What do you have to say to the vlog? How do you feel about your performance from uh, this weekend? Just one of those days, you know. Just got to get through it. Like we've been kind of lifting up a little bit. So, I felt good. I wanted to do a little bit better than I ran last time. But I feel like overall, it was a net positive. I took like two positive away from the race. So you got to. I think my next one will be a lot better. It will be a good season. You look like you were trying to chill in the middle of your race. Did you try That's to turn it turbo like, on? When people like, ask me about the race, I'm like, I feel like I got out good. And then I feel like I kind of fell asleep a little bit in the middle. Yeah, it's all right. But it's okay. You won. You finished strong. Exactly. Period. Go. Period. 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 He said it was free. He needs more. He needs a 19. 19. Six? Six. Period. Like, Mickey, what you got to say to the vlog? <laughs> Gonna get, come on, the video's recording. Mm, I don't want to talk right now. I don't know what to say. Oh, now come she don't know to what to come say. Come back to me. She just shot. Come back to you when I get to the pool. Come back to me. Yeah, we're going to the pool. Come back to me. Um. Come, come back to me when I run fast. Camera out your mouth.